welcome to another edition of Taste Five. After Michael McDonald this morning. Sad, sweet freedom, baby. Oh, and you're gonna find out why I'm playing that. Why I'm in such a good mood in just a minute. We are, of course, studying the Word of God. We got a great passage to look at today. Matthew chapter 9. Woo! I am in such a good mood. Let's read this thing. Verse 14. Then the disciples of John came to him, saying, Why do we and the Pharisees fast, but your disciples do not fast? And Jesus said to them, Can the wedding guests mourn as long as the bridegroom is with them? The days will come when the bridegroom is taken away from them, and then they will fast. No one puts a piece of unshrunk cloth on an old garment, for the patch tears away from the garment, and a worse tear is made. Neither is new wine put into old wine skins. If it is, the skins burst, and the wine is spilled, and the skins are destroyed. But new wine is put into fresh wine skins, and so both are preserved. Well, the Pharisees, they just fasted just to fast. And we saw this back in the Sermon on the Mount. It's just something they did so they could pat themselves on the back and say, look how good we are. Now, John's disciples probably were fasting because John had been put in prison or perhaps uh, was dead at this point. Uh, we are going to read about that in a few chapters. But uh, he, he had, was arrested, at least, and they weren't with him. So they, they had occasion to be sad. Fasting is when you're dealing with serious things, when you're repenting when you're mourning, when you're grieving. That's what fasting is for. Jesus is saying, look, we're having a ball right now. We're casting out demons. We're preaching. We're feeding people. We're, we're, we're just having a wonderful time in the glory of God. And this isn't the time to fast. Now, there is going to come a time, and he's referring to the crucifixion, of course, when things will be sad. But, you know, there are times in your life when things are good and when things are going great, that's not the time to fast. That's the time to, to rejoice and celebrate. Let's hear a little more from Michael. And enjoy the sweet freedom that we have in the Lord. And then he talks about wine and wineskins, and we'll talk about that here in a second. We'll talk about, talk about the wine and the wineskins. You know, if you put, they back then they didn't put it in bottles, they put it in wine skins, and they were made out of leather, and the wine would ferment, the new wine, and it would bust the old wine skins, so you had to put new wine in new wine skins. What Jesus is saying is you, you should always be ready to accept new things. Your heart should be new. The Pharisees lived, you know, had an Old Testament mindset, and their mind was never fresh, and they couldn't really accept anything different. Well, you, your mind should always be willing to accept new revelation that God gives you from His Word. Now, He's not going to give you a new Word. All right, this is His Word. This doesn't change. But He may give you fresh insight into His Word if your heart is ready for it. And you want to keep your heart always ready. Ask God to, to uh, a great song would be, Open the eyes of my heart, you know, that I may see the new things that you have. Jesus was bringing some new teaching and really just going back and, and telling the, what the original versions of most of these commands meant. Uh, and so some of their hearts were ready and some weren't. That's what he's saying. Get your hearts ready. If you're, if you're stuck in your old ways and your old mindset, whether it's a worldly mindset or a legalistic mindset, you're not going to be able to accept the new stuff. All right? But enjoy the freedom that God has given us. I hope you enjoyed the Michael McDonald. I know I did. Play some music you like today. Have a good time unless you're in a period of sadness. And if you are, I, I, I didn't mean to upset you. But for those of us right now in, in a period where God is blessing us and we're enjoying our relationship with Him and enjoying our freedom, 
Celebrate today. It's a great time. No need for fasting right now. That time will come later. You enjoy it. And you have a great day. Come back tomorrow for the next edition of Take 5.